Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Don and you are watching VR Gamer Dude. And today before the video starts, I want to give a special thanks to Novamos for sending me some amazing studio lights, guys. So these things are awesome. They are fully configurable. They've got these different links and you can bend them into different shapes and they, they've got multiple light modes and they're super bright. So I highly highly recommend these if you are an aspiring content creator like me who doesn't have a huge budget. $59.99 is going to get you a set of these and they can be linked together to make one huge light. It is really, really cool. So I am going to throw a link for it in the description and thanks again Novamos for sending them my way. Now on to today's video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Walk OVR mocap system. That's right, it, it does mocap now. I, I couldn't believe it. So, you know, you guys may remember I did review the first gen Walk OVR. I was kind of on a tear to find different alternative locomotion systems for virtual reality. and. I will say that that was my favorite out of all of the ones that I tested last year and you know it worked great. The only problem that I found with it was all of the mess of wires. I mean you had to wire each node to each other node and it, it was just a spaghetti string all over your body and it, it was just insane. So. I'm happy to say that they have made significant strides in the tech here with Waco VR mocap and, and you know, like Waco VR Trio, Waco VR Duo. They've got all sorts of different configurations now. But this is the full boat. This is the, the full five sensors. We're going to have one for our chest, one for our knees, one for our ankles. And I'm happy to say, they're no longer wired. It's, it's all wireless. You don't have to pair it back to your computer's Bluetooth anymore, even though it still uses that. You just do it all in the OVR portal. So props to Walk OVR for all of the advances from their Gen 1 to this device. And, and thanks for sending this out. I can't wait to jump into the box and test it. So let's right, go. So let's go ahead and take a quick look in the box, shall we? So, um, oh, okay. Just like last time, that is kind of cool. Uh, it is a personal note from Tugra, uh, who is the founder and CEO from Walk OVR. And, you know, I'm actually going to read this. So hold on just a second. Um, our beloved user, we sincerely hope you and your family are, were safe and in peace during pandemic days that the world is dealing with. 2020 was hard, but the future is bright thanks to some bright scientists in medicine. Now, no matter how hard it was, we kept working on the task in our mind, making your VR experience far more realistic with our enhanced movement capabilities by integrating your body movements into VR gameplay. We accomplished this task with the first generation Walko VRs for our Kickstarter backers and thousands of others since 2019. And today in this package, you receive our second generation solutions with many improved features and functionalities. New generation Walko VRs are fully wireless and smarter. This creates robust communication, longer battery life, and better decoupling. With the new algorithms and sensors, you get one second automated calibration, improved precision, and many more movement related enhancements that you can observe yourself. However, the improvements are not only on the hardware side. Based on the feedback we received from our users, we radically improved the OVR portal as well. As you will recognize, the new OVR portal is more user friendly, easier to use with existing and upcoming mechanisms and beautiful with the new interface. Uh, soon you will see many more features. As we stated since the beginning of our journey, we couldn't have made Walko VR available without our users. With your feedback, we'll keep working to make it better and better every day. We wish you health and happiness. Best regards from Tugra. So, you know, I gotta say, I, 
personalization like that, that is class. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm just going to stand that out and that's why I read the whole note to you guys. So, all right. But anyway, there it is. So there are all of the nodes and you know, I got to say, it is so nice to have just that. No wires, it is super lightweight, just a charging port and an LED and a button. So I, I can't wait to get it set up. I'm not gonna go through the whole box because behind this is just some wires and some straps. So, all right, let's uh, get the software side set up and jump into some games to test it out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is come here to walkovr.com. And, you know, you're going to see right here uh, at the top of the page, they, they, they kind of scroll through all the different uh, games that support the system right now. And you can see there are quite a few good titles that actually support the walkovr. So, uh, but what we want to do is we want to scroll down here to download and we want to go ahead ahead and grab the OVR portal. You're going to see the download starts automatically. Go ahead and let that download. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go ahead and install it. I, I've already done that. But naturally, you would just want to go ahead and install the software. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the OVR portal. And we're going to go ahead and get the nodes all paired up to the PC strap wrapped onto me and check it out in some gameplay. So in order to uh, get everything connected here, we have to use the OVR portal software. Now in the OVR portal here, you've got a lot of stuff. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but I will do a quick overview. You've got the home tab. It's just going to show you your recently played games, some achievements that you've gotten, update notes, uh, some deals that they've got going on. Um, you've got the walk OVR tab here, which you know, tells you everything you need to know about walk OVR how it works, the user manual for both devices, the Waco VR1 and uh, the newer system. Uh, you, you've then got the motion profile tab. Now this is where you've actually got some settings. Uh, you got your play mode, which is either going to be native or mocap. So uh, I've got mine set to mocap right now. It'll work in blade and sorcery. It'll work in VR chat. And it basically emulates having Vive trackers connected to you, but it doesn't use lighthouses. It, it, it's really, really cool. And it actually works. And we're going to, we're going to take a look at that here in a minute. So uh, native mode, that's going to be the standard walk in place that you saw in my earlier videos uh, with the Walko VR1, the one that had all the wires. Uh, it's a really cool locomotion method. It, it's super, super intuitive. You just walk in place and it translates it into motion in the games and it makes it feel a lot more natural and it actually helps with motion sickness. Um, here we've also got moves. You can set your in-game, your strafing, um, you've got controls, you can do decoupling, which basically makes this very similar in form and function to the deck of gear move. Uh, so you guys remember I also took uh, tested that and that actually was kind of, of a game changer. It was a very simple simple device that that did a very simple function that made a huge difference so you can also do the decoupling with the walko vr so uh very cool there the analog walking then the, the strafing and then it's going to tell you which system you're using uh, coming soon is going to be the library you've got the store where you can buy the the systems or any of the peripherals so you know a nice little home portal here but what we want to do is we we want to get this thing connected. So let's go ahead and start by doing a quick uh, one second button press on each one of the nodes here um, that is going to light them up and it's going to uh, start flashing orange there as you can see and we're going to go ahead and click search and connect and as we do that bam 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 
All right, so now all of them are connected to the software, but you see each one of them is giving us a little red dot here that tells us that recalibration is recommended. So, uh, you know, on first connect here, we're going to go ahead and calibrate each node. It is a pretty simple process. You just grab one of them and start twisting it in the air as such, and you can see each one gets calibrated. So, there we go, and there we go, and All right, last. so we've got them calibrated. Now let's go ahead and assign them to positions on my body here, which I've already done just to save time in the video. But basically, in order to do that, all you would do, as it says in the instructions there, is just shake them, and you can see you get that little animation that shows you which one you're actually holding in your hand, and then you can go ahead and put it on the straps here and, and get it on your body where you assign it. So that's a little different from the Waco VR system that I'm testing today versus the one that I already tested is that these nodes are not specific to a, to a, a specific part of your body where that one was. Each node was wired to another node, so you always knew how to put it on. These, they, you actually assign them their positions as you see here. So definitely a different beast. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming once I get it assigned here, it's gonna stay assigned, so I'll have to kind of mark them in some way. Uh, in order to tell which one I assigned it to, or you're going to have to jump back in here and shake them each time to, to see what you've assigned. So uh, it's a drawback and and uh, it's a blessing and a curse. I you know I mean I love the wireless, but it, but it definitely is different in how you have to select which one you're using. So just saying. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the headset for the next portion of the setup, and then we'll get on to some testing. Okay, let's go ahead and reset my posture here. All right, start Steam VR. Okay, and now that Steam VR is fired up and it detects my headset, uh, let's go ahead and click next. We'll stand still. Okay, now we'll walk in place. All right, and there we are. We are finished with calibration. So now we should be able to see. Yes, there we go. So as you see, I am now walking in place, but you can see the arrow is filling up. Um, let's go ahead and test strafing backwards. Okay, there we go. Backwards works side to side yes so everything seems to have calibrated correctly um all right let's jump into some gameplay all right so here we are we just landed let's see if we can walk oh man oh there it is oh that's kind of magical uh, i'm not gonna lie that that's just now, the, the walking speed in this game is a little fast, or at least I have it set a little fast, so, uh, you know, obviously, though, you can see if I barely walk, it barely walks. So, I mean, you can get in there and you can totally tune that walking speed to your liking. So, and, uh, yeah, I can turn with my own body here, so, very very cool. It's like you can get a workout too. Good jogging here. Nice. Oh, that is so cool. I just sit here and watch the starships come in all day. So, all right. So you know we're not playing the game. We're just testing this out, and I can I can tell you right now, it, it's working exactly as it should, and. If, if you've never experienced infinite walking in, in a VR game, it is nuts. I mean, absolutely nuts when you can just sit here. I, I'm not even holding the... I'm not... No, no sticks, man. I mean, I am just walking. Jog out to the end of the tunnel here. So yeah, like I said, you could really 
use this as an effective means of working out. Whoa, uh oh, hey buddy, just just stay out there. Yeah, don't come in just yet. <laughs> Are we gonna make it? So this brings up another little uh, chance to tease it, but uh, I've been talking to the wife and uh, Stacy and I have decided that we've both put on a lot of weight again. So I think we're gonna be bringing the fitness series back, y'all, shortly after the holidays. Don't wanna ruin Christmas. Uh, that's as far as I can go, okay. All right, there you go. I just literally jogged to the end of this launch tunnel so all right now let's test it in some mocap so now i've activated the mocap mode here and you can see in steam vr now i show many different trackers and if i look down and i hope you guys can see this okay you can actually see it's now spoofing um having steam vr trackers uh, or I'm sorry, Vive trackers uh, attached to my body. So very cool there because these are not being read by my lighthouse. The, those are just being read by the, the Bluetooth connection between the nodes and the computer and then the Waco VR software and AI here. So I don't know what kind of magic they've done to get this to work, but this is incredibly cool. So I can't wait to test it out in some gameplay so let's go ahead and uh, check it out in some uh, VR chat all right so here we are in my my VR chat loading area my home so to speak and you know um, I gotta say th this there's been a lot of changes to VR chat and that's that's for another video but um, let's go test out the mocap now unfortunately we we can't get the best of both worlds in here we we can't have the walk in place and the mocap at the same time or at least I haven't found a way to turn it on or it doesn't work in VR chat uh, being the first uh, program here that I've tried it with so uh, let's just uh, saunter over to the mirror there's my trusty Spock there I actually made this uh, I made this avatar um, I was very pleased with myself I've had it for a long long time and it still works so all right let's go ahead and line everything up here and boom all right all right now funny thing is is it, it it twisted my body what what's up with this it's like now i'm like chicken spock it's like woo yeah hey now now you can see it is definitely tracking my legs but but it like deformed my avatar into <laughs> like ostrich spock here what the shit so okay let let's see if that corrects itself if i choose uh, one of the other avatars here all right let's see line up and there we go and okay, there we go. So now we've got some some decoupled leg action. And you know, I got to say that that's really interesting. So it, it's I wouldn't say it's tracking one to one by any means, but it's definitely tracking. So I mean, it's and I don't know, that could be the calibration. Obviously, you could see it's having trouble with uh, with different avatars here. So, all right, that one seems to track pretty well. But, it, I mean, obviously, it, it seems to kind of want to cross my legs. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to play around with the calibration a little bit more. Um, and see... Oh, there we go, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty little me. Um, and see if I can get it a little more fine-tuned. But, man, other than that, that that's pretty freaking cool. I mean, it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. So I think it's really a matter of 
me working on my calibration. That is trippy. <laughs> Mirrors always give me a little sense of presence in VR, and now I'm like weird DJ cat guy thing, but I'm my whole body is moving. That is a freaking trip. <laughs> that is so freaking wild. It even works when I turn around. I mean, it is definitely still kind of wonky, but whoa, totally cool. All right, let's uh, move on. All right, guys, there you have it. There is the Walko VR mocap in action and a little gameplay with the walking mode and some VR chat with the mocap mode. And, you know, I have to say, I was very happy with the performance in both. I, you know, after the filming of those, I did go back in. I tweaked it a little bit better. Like the walking speed got a little more one-to-one -one in, in a few different games. And the, the mocap got a little tighter. And, you know, I got to say, for what it is, this thing is actually pretty freaking amazing for what it is and for what it costs. I, I mean, normally $279. And, and right now at the time of the filming of this video, you can see 209. And, and what it does, spoofing five Vive trackers for the mocap. I mean, if you looked at the 3.0 trackers right now, they're 129 a piece. So that's 645 bucks to get the same effect. Now, are the Vive trackers gonna be more precise? Absolutely. frickin lutely they're, they're, they're lighthouse tracked. I mean, they're definitely going to be the better mocap solution if you've got the bucks for it, but for under 300 bucks to have the ability to walk in place and have that holodeck experience and uh, to, to have some basic mocap, I'm totally going to recommend this thing. I mean, I highly, highly recommend that you check this out if you are interested in any sort of alternative locomotion for virtual reality. And as such, I am going to leave links for this in the description as always. That way you can go to their website, learn a little bit more, and make a purchase if you want. But for me, that's going to do it today, guys. Thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here at VR Gamer Dude. And if this was your first time coming by, thank you very much and if you liked what you saw today you know what to do smash subscribe and help me out i am so close to 10,000 subscribers and you know i could i could use your help and if you've already done that man thank you so much you guys are helping me grow the channel and you're you're gonna help me get there and i really appreciate that so that's it that's all i got today guys i'll see you in the next one this is don Signing off.